Hi there and welcome to the Postman Tips and Tricks series. This is Valentine and in this tutorial I wanted to show you how you can easily import requests from your browser directly into Postman. And what it happens a lot is that you're probably working with a web interface or you're trying to understand exactly how some things regarding the application that you see in your browser can be tested with Postman. And sometimes it's not clear exactly what is happening in the background and how you can exactly see the requests that are going out and as you can see in this case i have a web application opened and additionally i have chrome developer tools opened as well as you can see here in this panel below all other browsers have a similar functionality as well and here i switch to the network tab additionally i'm preserving the log and i cleared any entries that were recorded so far so whatever i do on this website all the actions will be locked here. So in this case, I'm simply gonna go and create a new list and see here, this is a test list. And I'm gonna hit the button add list. And when I do this, something will happen in the background. Now, in case there's a lot of noise here and you see a lot of requests and you don't really understand which one is which, most likely you will only need to filter for X XHR request. Otherwise you can have a look at doc if you're loading the entire page or sometimes when you're dealing with the redirects you can have a look at other but generally just keep all open and you should see the request that you have sent now in this case it's the first request that we have here on this endpoint and what i will do here is that i will select the request here i'll right click it and i will say here copy and i will copy as curl Now this request has been copied as curl and includes all the headers, all the cookies, everything that has been sent with this request. And most likely you will not need everything that you'll see here, but let's go into Postman and see exactly how we can import this. Now once in Postman, this is pretty easy because I will have to go to the import button and paste the raw text. And you can input here different formats, including the curl command. And for that reason, I'm gonna simply paste what I've copied from Chrome and it will look like this. And Postman will know how to interpret this and to create a request. And now we'll see now Postman has automatically selected the right method, the right URL, has created the body as it should be, has sent the headers that are needed. And if I try this request in Postman, you will see that it succeeded, so it created something. So everything that I've seen in the browser is working. Now, in case there's a lot of things that you don't understand or you're not sure if you need them, you can start disabling them or deleting them and trying out to see if the request is still working. But to sum up, this is the way you import requests from your browser. You copy them as curl, you go ahead and import them in Postman and all the heavy lifting will be done by the important that it's built in Postman and you will end up with this nice collection which you can easily use and have fun with. Okay guys, thank you for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If this is the case, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment in the section below and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you next time, bye bye.